hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how you can use the sms retriever api to autofill otps uh, from uh, messages in native android application with kotlin so firstly i will show you the documentation so this is the documentation in case if you are doing this for the very first time so basically a flow would be like user will enter his mobile number he will click on the get otp button then that will start this sms retriever api also it will call your backend api to send the sms otp message back to the desired phone number i am using twilio as a backend uh, you can use an, any uh, backend whichever you feel like but i think uh, if possible use twilio again this is not a paid sponsor paid sponsor uh, it's just that in the documentation uh, they have given a twilio's example that's why i'm using uh, twilio also you don't need a credit card debit card or don't need to pay anything upfront if you are just trying to test this out uh, twilio has a free account uh, registration as well that's what i am using uh, okay so you can go through this documentation on yourself but uh, you need to make some changes on the server side as well as well as on the native android side on the server side i will be using node.js along with the twilio api i will show you all the code also if you are uh, if you are uh, i have also made a video about this uh, user consent api as well uh, in case if you don't have the control over uh, if you don't care about the backend like you can't do all this uh, backend stuff you should use this user consent api uh, which i have already made a video about so in case if you're interested you can uh, go through that but anyways this video is about sms uh, re sms retriever api so firstly i will show you guys the output i have my node.js uh, app running uh, i will show you that uh, shortly of here i have blurred the output the reason is because uh, i am displaying a pop-up uh, like uh, there is an api in android which helps us to display a pop-up uh, which uh, like use presents the user the option to select their phone number so the user does not have to type it manually so i'll quickly select that phone number now as soon as i select the number here you can see in the first text input my mobile number has populated now i am using that uh, password blur that's because i don't want to reveal my mobile number to you guys but i will show you where you can change this settings to display it as a, a normal mobile number just so that i don't want to leak my mobile number that's why i'm using this uh, dot 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 so that you can't really see my mobile number okay now once i click on this get otp button it starts the sms retriever api also here you can see also it calls my backend and here you can see it automatically filled that otp and i also received a message right uh, so it has automatically filled the otp for me and if you see my message uh, here you can see that uh, this this is my otp 828652 right that's what got that's got what prefilled inside my otp text field there is another thing 4g access that is the app app hash which i will tell you this is the problem with sms retriever api you require the app hash as well uh, otherwise uh, that's why we require the backend as well uh, to uh, automatically fill the otp if you don't want to go through this use the sms user consent api which i have already made a video about so here you can see it has automatically prefilled my otp and if i click on verify now i will get a success message because i entered the correct otp again the verify button is making an actual api call okay so i will again uh, show it to you once more uh, suppose my mobile number is prefilled and here i'll just uh, remove this otp i will just click on get otp and it has started the sms retriever api and as soon as i get the message here you can see it has automatically prefilled that uh, um, uh, that otp for me if i enter a wrong otp suppose i just change it manually click on verify uh, here you can see i'm getting a toast message saying that this could not be verified this message is from my server side uh, hopefully you got the point again just to show off one more time i'll just click on get otp it has started the sms retriever api uh, it, uh, i got the message and it has automatically prefilled the otp for me so hopefully you got the point uh, now uh, first let's start with the backend i'm using back i'm using node.js as the backend but you can use whatever you feel like again i'm comfortable with node.js that's why i'm using that choose whatever makes sense to you firstly you should go to twilio's account and create a free twilio account uh, if you don't know what twilio is it's basically used to do a send sms 
there like there are a lot of other services which Twilio is offer but in our case uh, what important is uh, we just need to uh, know the, uh, we just need uh, for need it to send the sms for uh, sms to us okay so here you can see firstly uh, i just create a folder inside that first create a package.json file and here you can see i'm using this env because all my twilio secrets are inside this dot env file again i'm not going to show that to you and here i have installed express because express js will help us to create a rest api endpoints quickly that's why i'm using that and i have also installed this twilio node.js dependency so once you uh, like uh, or write this code you just have to do npm install and it will automatically install all the dependencies for you okay then uh, i have so this particular code i have just copied it from the documentation but uh, so i'll just show so if you go to this particular url i'll show you that documentation as well again the documentation is little bit outdated so i have just copy pasted all this code from that documentation itself uh, so here you can see that uh, this is this sms verify it takes a twilio client app hash app hash need to be generated from the android app side which i will show you shortly so yeah be uh, keep be mindful of that this is our verification service id this is our country code as well and here i'm just exporting sms verify this is this get e164 number i think this is just to check whether a number is proper or not and then to fetch his country code again you can uh, like even i don't really understand much of it but here you can see this v2 part is missing in the documentation so make sure so here you can see uh, they have forgot this is like old documentation like they haven't uh, updated the code so most of the code is deprecated it's better you follow i mean i have copied 90 percent of the code but few of the code there are few changes which i have made so this is the one of the changes which i have made then here we have this request method which we will call shortly inside our uh, request otp function rest api so here again i'm calling this we are passing our phone number uh, channel is sms here again we are passing our app hash and once we have the verification uh, we just i'm just printing it to the console but you can do whatever you feel like and similarly this is for verifying the otp also in the documentation which i shown you this is this part is missing so make sure you add this particular part as well and again here for verify as well uh, we uh, pass the uh, if you want you can pass the entire sms message but i i didn't do that i'm just passing the otp i think that's why they had it have added this regex i'm not really sure uh, but yeah here once i'm passing the otp uh, they are doing some uh, verification on their side again this part v2 is missing in the uh, documentation which i have shown you uh, so add this v2 as well and once we have that we get a callback whether the uh, otp was valid or not and this is for resetting i couldn't really figure it out why we need this but maybe you have a use case i'm not really using it uh, but hopefully you got the point <clears throat> so i'll simply uh, scroll through this uh, okay and uh, the latest code is not here uh, this is wrong okay so this is the code but un unfortunately it is deprecated but i have made all the changes in my code so you don't have to worry about it you can just copy paste my code all right then also inside my package.json i have uh, added this start and dev script so make sure you add that as well also just to quickly tell you i haven't hosted node my this uh, backend on any cloud providers it is running locally uh, that's why uh, i will we will have to make few changes on our android side as well uh, here again i will go back to index uh, okay index.js so firstly we are loading our dot env again i'm using this required imports uh, also i'm using javascript but i think it's better to use typescript and maybe not use this require imports and you can use this proper imports uh, but yeah up to you then here we are just uh, loading our express js okay uh, so here <coughs> inside your dot env file create this api key i will tell you how to get this api key in a bit so just create this process dot env all these are defined inside my dot env file so make sure you define that okay and here we are first creating our twilio client this is our api endpoint for getting the otp so i'm passing our phone number and then i'm just slicing the country code out of it uh, if your country code is fixed you can move this code out of the uh, over here so that you don't have to initialize it again and again but i doubt <coughs> uh, like few of you might have the country code fixed but yeah depends how where exactly is your app deployed 
so here we also have this verification service as i did def uh, define inside dot env file which I, again i will sh tell you shortly so i'm passing the entire phone number along with the country code uh, to our backend api so i'm uh, getting the country code from here and here we are passing the phone number to our request method as well of sms verify okay once that is done i'm just uh, doing a success message uh, maybe you should take a call back from this whether this was really successful or not because i'm not really waiting for it i'm just directly doing success okay because that's what in the documentation they did it but yeah it's better to get a call back from this request method as well and here we have this slash api slash verify to verify the otp here we are taking the phone number this message is actually the otp i have named it badly this is actually the otp so don't get confused again from the phone number we are getting the country code this is again the hap hash this is also app hash i will tell you how to get the app hash uh, from your native android app shortly so be uh, careful with that don't copy my app hash otherwise it will not work for you again this is our verification service id and here i am just calling the verify method which we had defined inside this sms verify and once we have that i am sending this particular uh, response back to our uh, native android side and this is our port okay so hopefully till here everything is clear to you uh, now how to uh, get the uh, this env variables okay so there are few env variables which i have defined like verification service sit twilio api key twilio api secret and twilio account sid now to firstly get the twilio account sid you can go to this particular url uh, okay and it will tell you how to get the twilio account sid i have also created one screenshot so here you can see it will look something like this so this is your twilio account sid the one which i have uh, you know uh, uh, rubbed oh, by a green color so this is the twilio account sid uh, okay uh, that you can get it uh, next you would require the api key as well as the twilio secret so you have to create your api key so you can go to this particular url you will see the click click create api key button just click on it create an api key now <clears throat> please note that the twilio api key is the sid which you see and not the friendly api key a uh, name which you have given and also don't get confused uh, with the twilio account sid or verification sid so basically once you create your api key uh, you will see something like this so this sid which you see is your api key name which again i have rubbed with green color so and this is your secret twilio api secret again i have uh, rubbed with green color this friendly name is pretty much useless this is just for our own understanding okay again uh, uh, i don't live in united states but yeah this region i think they don't have uh, much options so i had to select united states then uh, there is this verification service sid as well so here uh, again <coughs> uh, you can go to this particular url which will give you the verification sid this was already created for me and there were two verification sid i didn't know which one to use i think any one of this will work for you so in case if it doesn't work just try the second one i don't know why there are two verification service sid but yeah anyways you can use uh, this two so hopefully you got the point now how to get the app hash so firstly uh, to get the app hash you will have there are couple of ways i have used the simpler way so you can just uh, copy this app signature helper and we can directly uh, i'm just call, initializing it uh, and getting the app hash inside my log okay so inside the on create method of our activity i'm just i will show you all the code later on but i'm just initializing it and i'm getting the app hash inside my uh, logs and then i'm just replacing it over here as well as over here now please note <coughs> you do not you should comment this code out once you are once you got the app hash this code should not be present inside your code do not dynamically can calculate your app hash at runtime uh, that is not the right approach uh, okay so this is one way the second way is pretty complicated i couldn't really understand it maybe you guys can so if you go to the documentation over here uh, scroll down scroll down okay i think it is over here request sms verification on sir so here you can see we require this app hash uh, here you can see they have given how to call calculate the app hash i wo what i found a little uh, uh, 
confusing is what is this dr file like from where do i get this dr file i understand the key store file i can get it but i didn't understand where where do i get this dr file maybe i'm missing something uh, i couldn't really figure it out again they have given it both for debug as well as for release so you will have to use this certificate this particular command as well as this particular command but it, but uh, you, if you are like me uh, we don't want to go through all this we do, i don't re really understand it here you can see they have mentioned alternately you can get the apps hash string with this app signature helper class so if i go over here here you can see i have just copy pasted it from the documentation again so you can just so it's up to you how you want to calculate the app, app hash uh, so i have just uh, used this particular way so i have just copy so what i have done inside our native android application again i am using xml layout but if you want you can use jetpack compose as well i have just created a java class and here again don't worry that this is not in kotlin because we will be using it only once uh, to get the app hash and then we will be commenting this out so here again i have just copy pasted all this code from the documentation which i just shown you so if you want you can copy paste all this code from the documentation as well so i'll quickly show you this code so again i'll scroll through this i don't really understand it uh, yeah uh, what i would suggest is in case if you are not uh, running this particular command and if you have created a release apk make sure you change the build variant over here to release once you create a release apk and then again run this particular initialize this app signature helper maybe you will get a different uh, app hash uh, but yeah now it's up to you how you calculate it i won't uh, confuse you guys too much but yeah this is all the code which i have uh, but yeah you can copy paste it from the documentation okay now uh, coming back to our main project uh, so firstly uh, like i told you right i uh, haven't uh, deployed uh, my uh, backend to any cloud provider or anywhere it is on my local host that's why uh, i firstly we need to call an api that's why we need the internet permission right also given my backend is ho hosted on http i have to use this particular thing but if you have deployed it to your cloud provider uh, you have https you don't need this uses clear text traffic okay uh, next uh, make sure you add this particular thing as well because we will be using this broadcast receiver uh, to uh, once we have uh, uh, started the sms retriever api this broadcast receiver gets triggered and it will start listening for uh, your sms only up to five minutes huh? if you are still uh, uh, if your sms is still not delivered within five minutes uh, it will give a timeout error then you will ha again have to start the sms retriever api so make sure you copy paste this bit of code as well i will show you the actual my sms broadcast receiver class later on uh, uh, there are a lot of moving parts in this particular uh, tutorial next you will have to go to build.gradle.kts and here i have added all the dependencies so this two dependencies are for the sms retriever api okay and this is a retrofit as well as json for calling our backend api now if i go to libs.versions.toml here you can see this is our retrofit uh, api this is this play services auth play services auth for our sms retriever and here you can see this is our converter json which i have added uh, then this play services auth as well as play services auth api phone which i have added so you can just copy paste all these dependencies uh, so here you can see these two dependencies which i have added okay and this is for retrofit uh, the, don't forget this uh, converter json retrofit dependency as well then you can just click on sync now it will download all the dependencies for you then uh, again coming back to our app so firstly i will show you the retrofit code then we will see the uh, um, actual sms retriever code so i have created two class for request one for uh, sending get otp request it takes a phone number okay kotlin file of data class and verify otp request uh, which takes a phone number as well as a message again the message is actually the otp okay and this is the response uh, class so get otp response again a data class which gives us a message and verify otp also gives us a success boolean and this message can be optional uh, this is how i'm uh, sending data back so if you see over here uh, i'm sending a message i'm also sending an error but i'm not really hand handling it inside my android code if you want you can handle it uh, and here if you see i'm sending a success uh, for verify and in case of failure i'm also sending sending msg message that's what uh, this variables have come from 
in case if you are still confused uh so okay so this is done next we have to uh, again uh because we are using retrofit we have to create this interface so i have created this interface again we uh, i have created a base url so if you see my base uh, url would be like localhost colon 3000 slash api slash phone right uh so i am just passing this phone over here similarly for verify as well i am just passing verify over here and rest i have just created one variable where i have created all the api endpoint uh, like uh, localhost colon 3 again we can't use localhost we will have to use your ip address which i will come back to but it will be like your ip address colon 3000 slash api will be my base url uh, and pa forward by phone okay and this is for verify so this we have to define as well uh, next coming back to our main activity also uh, quickly uh, inside index.js of node.js hopefully i have shown you the entire piece of code uh, yeah so this is how i'm uh, running the code on port 3000 okay so i'll just simply scroll through this one more time in case if you have forgot uh, you know or in case i forgot to show it to you so hopefully you got the point again coming back to our application now so if you see uh, my uh, layout activity underscore uh, xml so here i have just taken an edit text and here you can see i have taken the input type as number password there because i don't want to show my actual phone number to you but you can just take input type as number okay uh, so this is one edit text this is button for uh, getting the otp uh, this is the ed other edit text for getting for uh, auto filling the actual otp and this is the button for uh, verifying the otp uh, okay next going back to uh, our main activity uh, here you can see i have taken both the edit text as well as both the buttons uh, inside our code okay just give me a second okay so here uh, then we are uh, listening for this particular uh, so like i told you right i'm uh, not as i mean if you want you can ask the user to uh, like type his mobile number but i want to Prefill the mobile number uh, that's why i'm using this uh, phone number hint intent result launcher once you run the application you will see that model it is from the google itself we don't have to create it uh, by ourselves okay so that's what i'm doing once this intent is launched i will get the actual number and i'm just filling it inside our phone number text once the user selects that whatever phone number he has from the model model or whatever however you this is for retrofit okay now here again uh, we are creating a retrofit instance this is my base url so your base again if you are like me you if you haven't deployed it to uh, any cloud provider your backend your uh, ip it should be your ip address you can't use localhost again i am running it on real device for emulator it will be again something different so i don't know so this this is my ip address okay again i am using http and this is my ip address and this is the, my port number where my node.js app is running and here you can see slash api slash uh, and this is the json converter factory this is the otp service interface which we had defined and again this i have commented out because i have already got the app hash uh, okay uh, so i don't need this uh, code again and here we are initializing our phone number otp get otp as well as verify otp uh, i'll so once you call this get otp button okay i'll come back to this in a bit firstly i want to show you this request hint so this is basically displaying the model uh, with all the phone number which the user has so here you can see we are creating this get phone number hint intent request uh, and then we again i have just copy pasted all this code from a documentation and here this is the result launcher which we had defined at the very top okay so that's what we are doing over here in case it fails it fails then the user will have to type the mobile number manually okay that's why this request hint is just to automatically prefill uh, the user's uh, mobile number again now coming back to get otp button so okay sorry before that uh, so once uh, sorry uh, get, once the get otp button is clicked we are basically calling the request otp so here we are calling our backend api we are passing our phone number to it and uh, once we get success message i'm immediately starting the sms retriever api uh, 
i think it's better you don't wait for the success message so what you can do is you can directly start this sms retriever api something like this as well uh, uh, so it's up to you so what like sometimes what would happen is that um, uh, be even before you get the uh, success message from your api you might get the sms on the user's device and this sms retriever api hasn't started yet uh, so in that case there could be a race condition and uh, you won't get the benefit so it's better you just call it or you can move this code over here as well up to you i will leave it up to you how you want to call it so this will basically start the sms retriever api uh, so here you can see i'm just displaying a toast message over here as well as over here but you can uh, i mean we don't really have to worry about the success and failure listener you can just write it up till here but once the sms retriever api has been started it basically calls this my sms broadcaster by sms broadcast receiver method okay also one more thing these are all the imports for uh, main activity in case uh, i didn't show it to you uh, because uh, there are a lot of you might have the wrong import so yeah again coming back to my sms broadcast receiver so this gets this gets called once we start the sms retriever api again i have copy pasted it from the documentation so first we get the sms retrieved action then we get the sms retriever status then we get the status code if it is success then we get the actual message not the otp the entire message and then now i need to send this data back to our main activities that's why i am using this uh, intent uh, and with the help of local broadcast manager i'm sending this data uh, basically this sm message data back to our main activity so make sure you use the same keys which i have uh, in case if you use different keys then you will have to change it inside main activity as well okay now again i'll scroll this so this is this this is the entire piece of code uh, now again coming back to our main activity so once we receive the sms from our my sms broadcast receiver the callback will come over here uh, sorry over here okay over here so here i have created another broadcast receiver like local uh, local one so once we get the message i'm just displaying it inside of our toast okay inside of our toast message but you don't really need this and i'm displaying i'm uh, automatically pre-filling it inside our otp now i'm extracting the otp from our message so for that here i have created another regex just to check uh, whichever uh, is a six number digit that's why the find out that particular value from our message but if in your case if it is four digit otp you will have to change the regular expression so it's up to you how you want and here you can see inside on resume and on pass we are uh, starting and stopping our local broadcast manager as well okay so hopefully till up to here everything is clear uh, next uh, coming back to verify otp so our otp has been automatically pre-filled and here we just call this verify otp i'm passing the phone number text field uh, text as well as the otp text field text and whatever is the data i'm displaying it instead of a toast message uh, so hopefully you got the point uh, i will quickly uh, do a rundown of all the code i will simply show all the code to you in case if you have missed out anything it's just quickly showing all the code so i'll simply scroll through this so this is the index.js file of our backend pause the video wherever you feel like then uh, this is the package.json make sure you run npm install as well obviously you will need uh, node.js as well installed uh, okay and this is the sms uh, verify.js again uh, just copy paste it i've just got but uh, make sure you don't copy paste copy paste my code uh, don't blindly copy paste uh, the github repo because it has some deprecated code uh, so yeah here it is sms verify uh, okay and do create this dot env as well uh, and this is the android code so i'll quickly go through this this is for main activity this is for my broadcast receiver uh, this is my activity underscore main uh, then this is the build.gradle.kts so which i added over here 
दिस इज द लिप्स डॉट वर्जन डॉट टॉम एल फाइल ओके देन दिस इज द गेट ओ टी पी रिक्वेस्ट दिस इज वेरीफाई ओ टी पी रिक्वेस्ट गेट ओ टी पी रिस्पॉन्स वेरीफाई ओ टी पी रिस्पॉन्स दिस इज द ओ टी पी सर्विस क्लास या आई थिंक दैट शुड पेट आई एम नॉट शोइंग दिस माई कॉन्स्टेंट बिकॉज दैट हैज़ माई आई पी एड्रेस बट या यू कैन यूज़ योर ओन आई पी एड्रेस होपफुल आई हैव शोन यू दिस आई हैव शोन यू ऑल दिस हैज़ वेल ओके दिस 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 इज़ द एप सिग्नेचर हेल्पर विच अगेन वी नीड इट ओनली वंस डोंट शेप इट इन प्रोडक्शन बिकॉज दिस इज जस्ट टू गेट अवर एप सिग्नेचर ओके एंड यर इज़ अवर एंड्रॉयड मैनिफेस्ट सो आई हैव एडिड दिस रिसीवर होपफुली यू हैव एडिड इट एंड दिस इंटरनेट परमिशन आई हैव एडिड एंड यूज इज क्लियर टेक्स ट्राफिक आई ऑल्सो हैव एडिड आई विल क्विकली अनकमेंट दिस अदरवाइज आई एल फर्गेट इट लेटर ऑन अगेन यू शुड कीप दिस कमेंटेड वंस यू हैव दी एप सिग्नेचर होपफुली यू गॉट द पॉइंट थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग बाय